All right, and we are live. Woohoo! We're back playing uh, the Forge of Fury from Tales in the Yawning Portal, updated for uh, fifth edition from the. Um, well, I think it's originally from either second or third. I'm not sure. Vince, is it from second or third? The original Forge of Fury. Third edition. Third edition. There we go. So we're, it's updated for fifth edition from the Tales of the Yawning Portal book. Everybody's been uh, playing through this for a little bit. I think this is about our fourth session or fifth session. Um, something to that effect. Uh, we're missing a couple people tonight. They might be jumping in later on, but as of right now, it is uh, just the four players and myself. Yay. And we'll get this show on the road. Okay, you guys uh, were exploring this uh, this level. And you guys took a break uh, in the room to recover and rest and everything. Um, oh, I got to move uh, Panger's token off the board since she will not be with us tonight. We can get back later. All right. So, who wants to do what? Where are you guys going? Stuffing everywhere? Are you guys going to go to Build-A-Bear? Is that where you're? Yeah. Build-A-Bear. <laughs> All right. I guess it's exploring. Are you getting some really, really harsh feedback uh, over there, Io, from your mic? But, um, all right. We're coming out of the room. Let's go ahead. Is that better? Yes, that is a lot better. Yay. I don't know why I, ha I hadn't opened this up for you guys before as you got down to the, the hallway. But, yeah. Is that a bird bath? I want to check out the bird bath. <laughs> the bird bath. Um, Jump in. Did you? Is this not say? A bird bath in an orc sex dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> As I get closer to the bird bath, I want to see where Karthok is actually standing in the room, <laughs> so we know where it's. Oh well, when it comes to the room, actually, this room. I think this. Uh, the the designers of this adventure. Um, assumed you guys were going to be coming from the from the south because the description uh, references the door that's to the south. The door opens into a large chamber with a dark pool in the center. Bits of smashed furniture and other debris are scattered around the floor. Hallways lead off to the east and the west, but you guys are actually standing in the eastern hallway. Um, let me open up because um, you guys can see over this way. So there we go. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. The large circular object in the middle of the room. Yeah. Large circular pool, uh, invisible broken debris, and, um, yeah. Mm. So they, oh, sorry. Distracted by some stuff going on, uh, over, over here off my computer. It's, uh, cat filled nighttime. You know what? I'm just gonna finish opening up this hallway. Just Yeah. There we go. There's nothing really too interesting about that pool on of it. Yeah, I know I, I hear. Um yeah, sorry. Like I said, we've got uh cats going on over here. Um yeah when their butts off outside and uh our uh our tabaxi went to go play with the cats for a second. Okay or just try to figure out what's wrong with them. So the pathway that continues along to the west, you can see there's uh there's four more doors that are uh that are down that way. And nothing too interesting about that pool that you can see. You can uh go ahead and roll me uh perception if you'd like. Yep, definitely nothing interesting about this place. Definitely nothing interesting. Um, 
Yeah, you're gonna have to close that door. That is definitely distracting. <laughs> yeah. I know who it is. <laughs> All right. As soon as uh, Savvy gets over here um, and picks where she wants to go, because I know you guys are at that one door, and it looks like we got Karthus at the other door. All right. Let's go ahead and get these uh, these doors opened for you guys. These rooms look just like uh, a lot of the ones that you've already uh, been through here in the hallway. Uh, whatever items and stuff that were in the room were all smashed. Debris all over the place. Um, yeah, haven't been able to... Or you don't see anything at all in the rooms. Other than broken furniture and uh, dead bodies. more check out the other two doors. Check out the other door. Okay, so um Ayo, the door to the to the south as you open it, it looks just like uh the other rooms that you've seen. Um to smash debris every, everywhere. The the door next to it, though, looks like uh, this chamber might once have been a barracks. The remains of six wooden bunks lean against the walls, burned and hacked by uh, by pillagers. And a half dozen skeletal dwarves lie here and there on the floor. With clicking and scraping sounds, the skeletons rise and advance on you. Ooh good thing this is a uh, Halloween time so it's good skeletons uh, we're gonna say some initiatives yay see right off the bat you guys get attacked you guys should have known that <sighs> savvy okay with uh with skeletons because she'll just like gnaw at their bones or something like that <coughs> Where's the dog folk? The, the dog folk? Yeah. Seriously. I don't know if there is any dog uh, oh stuff. Gnolls. Gnolls. Yeah. I mean, you can get gnolls. You, you can play a gnoll now, right? It's in Volo's Guide to Monsters. You can play a gnoll, kobold. You can play a gnoll, but I'm going to call you a dog folk. Yeah. I need a dog collar for the uh, dog porn. Or something to that effect. All right. We, it looks like we're starting off with uh, with Karthus right here. We got everybody's initiative on there, right? Yeah. Keep your pen pan strong. That is a hit. <laughs> Smack. How much damage did you do? Enough. Uh, yeah, I was going to say uh, uh, enough. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So where was that number? Oh, yeah, that's a... That's a Smack, smack that skull right off <laughs> the smiling skull right off that skeleton's head. Psh. Yeah, and uh, I'll use martial arts and go for number one now. Nope, number one. That is a hit. Not as much damage, but uh, yeah, it, he uh, yeah. He looks like he's got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> uh, anyway. 
you want me to finish that one off or target a different? Up to you, man. Up to you. Okay, I'm pretty sure that piercing yeah, won't do much against a skeleton. Good thing that there's an option that one. Targeting skeleton one. Yep, also adding it damage because of my assassin. Yep, because you've got people next to it. No, because and, assassin and, and yeah. It, like, yeah. Yeah. Yep, that is a hit on that skeleton. Uh, yeah, you don't even need to roll the extra for the for the supposed crit that you have because it's already yeah dead. Okay, let's see who's going. Anything else you're gonna do? You're fl yeah, flying into the room. Fly into the room. Uh, Skeleton's gonna step up here. Right. Stop what? Right. Not singing. Mm -hmm. uh, just the same what the skeleton was doing. Uh, what Aria was doing. Fly into the room. And try to hit people with a short sword. Alright, Skeleton 3 targets Karthus. It's gonna try to hit. That's a 7. It is a miss. Skeleton 6. Where are you, Skeleton 6? All the way in the corner is going to uh, come up. Um, it's over here with Karthus. going to try to target Karthus. Hit him with the short sword. But that is... <laughs> that is a crit. Hey, he's gonna, I'm going to say that, that Skeleton swipes for Karthus and totally misses and drops the short sword. He's been, uh, he's been undead way too long. Hating his life. Skeleton. Yes. Yeah, something like that. So number five is going to step up here, but number five is going to um, target Arya. Arya Stork. Short sword attack. Oh, that one is a hit. Uh, for eight points of damage. And then we get to Io. What? Are you st me, Okay. I will. Target. Target that guy. Number six. And shoot. I don't know why it didn't say because you're. I see you're targeted on him. But it's weird. It doesn't say. It. Yeah, it doesn't say on my side. It's a. Uh, it should be a hit. Let me double check the error. Yeah, it's a hit. Showing it on ours either. Yeah, that's weird. It's a hit though. He's targeted on him. It says right there, target skeleton six. It's a hit. Yeah, so go ahead and roll damage and see if it puts damage on number six. Yeah, yeah. Put the damage on him, no problem. So, hmm, maybe just a momentary glitch in the matrix right there. That is fantasy grounds. Savvy. <laughs> Yeah, you can walk through friendlies, remember? You just can't. Yeah, but there's that spot that's right there below uh, Onovan that you can get into through Karthus, right there. No, you don't flank with the skeleton. <laughs> Alright, that is a hit. 
for uh, six damage. It looks like nice. That one unfortunately is a miss. Okay. All right. Skeleton number uh, two. We're gonna come up to Savvy. Just beating up on his friends. Try to hit you with his short sword. Oh, I didn't do that. The uh, the system did that, not me. Sorry. No, oh, that's not that bad. Yay. Back to the top of the round, Carthus. Yeah, it didn't kill you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> that is a hit. Boom, it does a lot of damage. He's not looking good. And that one is a hit also. Yep. He is down and out in Beverly Hills. Or something. Uh, the one that hit you? Okay. Not the one that's missing the hand. <laughs> no, that one's not a crit. Okay. Of course. Uh, <laughs> I was watching the dice in the chat. It looked like it didn't even roll. It looked like it just skidded. It's like <laughs> the one all the way across. Okay, so number number six. Um I'm gonna say he he realizes uh, that he doesn't have. He looks down at his at his stump with no hand, no sword, and he reaches down to the ground with the other the other hand to pick up the sword. So I'm gonna give Carthus. I'm gonna give you an attack of opportunity on number six, right there, as it reaches down in front of you to grab its sword on the ground. Yep, that is a hit. Yeah, it's it's not there. It's dead. Boom. Come on, go away. Okay. So number five right there. Um is looking at looking at Arya, trying to shoot it and it's uh her her arrow just drops to the ground and so it's gonna try to swipe at Arya with the long sword. Jeez. Oh, it's not me, I swear. I was like, this is, this is going to be the end of the uh, adventure. Because <laughs> apparently a bunch of <laughs> crappy skeletons can get crits on people. Io. That is a hit. There we go. See, now it's working. Boom, it's almost there. It's not looking. It's chopped chopped up, fallen to pieces, but it's still uh, standing upright. Savvy. Okay. Uh, fortunately, it is a miss with the one short sword. And bonus attack with the offhand one. There you go. Uh, you don't get the extra, yeah, but just just automatically roll it, because it only has. Would it be two? Uh, no, it'll automatically double the dice for you when you roll because it, it counts it as a crit. So you just click the thing once. No. But are you just rolling the single? Or are you rolling the damage on your sheet? No, because I don't get the bonus. It doesn't matter. You still got the, just roll the damage, because it does it as a crit, and then I can just subtract the damage from your modifier. So let's see, it's eleven points of damage, not fourteen, which it already it only had like three hit points, so it's dead. Hmm. Yeah. Now you're done. 
Okay, Skeleton 2 is going to try to hit Savvy. Uh, that's a hit. Regular hit, not crit. Uh, for 3 damage. Back around the Karthus. I just saw how many hit points or how much damage Arya has taken. That's crazy. If you move to the other side south of that token, you'll get advantage for flanking with uh with Savvy. Yeah, there you go. Really? <laughs> yeah, you drew a five and a six and it dropped the five. Yeah, a twelve is a miss. Unless you want to spend one of the key points or something to do a thing. So you got your other one. Yeah. Boom. I, think you the dice. I, fu I fudged the dice. I didn't fudge anything. <sighs> you guys got a lot more hits than I did. All right. So let's go ahead and give you uh, experience for this. For these uh, skeletons here. Mm hmm. All right, getting you guys closer and closer to leveling. Oh, I got a hiccup. Ah. Mm. All right, you guys are not looking too good. Um, HP wise, what do you guys want to do? Are you investigating? Uh, searching the room. Oh, roll me perception then. You can lay on hands. Oh, oh I was going to cure wounds to Arya Stork. Can you lay your hands? Yeah, you can lay on hands yourself. So, Karthus, while, while they're healing and you're looking around the room, you notice that there is a... Um, what looks to be a a rogue uh, type figure in the middle of the uh, skeletons, their body um, less um, disintegrated or decrepit or whatever you want to call it than the uh, than the skeletons in, in better quality. Like it hasn't been here, but it's uh, it's about half buried underneath the furniture. And on her, you find a belt pouch that looks to have a uh, a little bit of coinage in it. You know, put that down there. Woohoo. Are you uh, keeping that all for yourself, or are you have me split it between the party? I'll split it amongst the party. Ah, okay, here we go. Boom, there we go. So it splits 167 silver pieces to to each of you, and you still have three left in the uh, uh, on the party sheet for later distribution. Oh, okay. Are you guys all good for healing stuff up? It looks like it. Okay. I mean, unless Savvy or Karthus want any more healing. No, I'm good for nothing. I'm good. So where do you guys want to go? There's those dwarves down at the other side of the thing. The ones that are hammering on the anvil? Yeah. I'm down for checking that out. Okay, which way are you guys going? Let's go. Down through the doors, which are uh, suspiciously not locked. I mean, I mean, not suspiciously. They're just, they're just not locked. Yeah. Mwahahaha. These doors, I know, are definitely not locked because you guys went through them already, so they are actually open. I guess we're 
Yeah, I was gonna say you guys already you guys yeah came in here, beat the stuff up, and then left right earlier. No, we never fought these guys. They were we peeked in and left. Oh, that's right. You guys peeked in and looked. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah, put your guys back on the, by by that door. I thought you guys had beat them up since you guys opened it up. No, savvy, go over there. Here, let me give you a description of this. Um, yeah, let's see. You you win at the D and D. You're gonna lose at the D and D. I mean, if you guys are put so here we go. So double stone doors lead into the barrel vaulted area containing several furnaces. The eastern end of the chamber continues into a large dark cavern from which a cold wind moans. A stream of water rushes from west to east through the center of the room, crossed by two stone bridges. On the other side of the stream, three bald gray dwarves work at a roaring forge, beating a white hot blade into shape on an old anvil. Yes, they are still working on the same one <laughs> as when you guys were here earlier. Um, and since you guys can see them, yeah, let me, um, hold on. To do where is this? Okay. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Since because of all the loud banging noises and the the rushing of the water, they don't seem um to have noticed you. Well, they don't know exactly if it's the same sword. It could be a different sword, but they do still seem to be banging out swords. Maybe we get distracted with all the sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you guys want to do? Sorry, I was like looking over. I thought I saw Joe holding down on the talk button about to say something, so I was quiet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I'm. Uh, if you guys want to negotiate, I'll hold my fire. I'm definitely not uh, a negotiator, though. Not that I don't want to negotiate. I just do bad at it. I don't negotiate with dwarves. So we're just going for the first shots here then? That sounded <laughs> Okay, so who or what are you guys gonna do first? Or who's gonna do something first to kick this off? Oh, it's like Savvy is uh targeting Dwooger too. I was targeting uh Sinervain. Sinervin. Io, let's go of a bolt. And uh, Savvy, let's go of a bolt. Both of you guys. Aria, are you going to let go of a bolt? Yeah, we might as well all fire together. Yeah, it looks like everybody's firing together. And then Karthus, what are you doing while they're, they're shooting? <laughs> That's a miss, Aria. All of you. All of you have missed. I didn't miss anything. Secretly no code in yeah, I secretly do coding, you know, because <laughs> that's just uh, what I do. Carthus, what are you doing? They're all shooting at the same time. I guess I'm going to get roll initiative because I won't make it there in time. <laughs> okay. Much. Well, I'll give you a move. What's your move? 30 feet? You can move 30 feet and then roll initiative since they all took an action of shooting. That is a big thing of water. You might want to cross on one of those bridges unless you, uh, you're you going to jump over there. Jump it. Jump it over there. Charge. Jump it. <laughs> okay. It's really good. Okay, everybody roll me, roll me some initiatives. Oh god, these guys rolled crappy. 
Even Karthus rolled better. Karthus, well, Karthus is usually at the top, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, man, I'm just looking at this. All right. Yeah, Savvy, you're going to kick this off. Do that when we get to it. <laughs> Which bridge are you crossing? Okay, that one. Um, I don't, I don't know where you, I didn't see where you were beforehand, but I'm gonna open up some more of this, uh, some stuff that you guys see over here as you're getting closer to the east. So, boom. Was that number two, Georgia number two? Yeah. Okay, it looks like you hit for 11 points of damage to Georgia number two right there. And now it is Io. Yeah. That is a hit on Snurvin. for six damage. Aria. Uh, and until they go, I still get the uh, advantage, right? Yeah, because they haven't gone yet. That is a hit. All right. Okay, that is 17 points of damage plus the extra, uh, extra six. Let me put it on him real quick. Um, let's see, plus six. And, uh, you guys have done that much damage. All right. And then Karthus. Okay, let me see if this... So, so that's, a, that's only a five-foot gap right there. Um, yeah, we'll set the DC to like 10. Oh, okay, there you go. Okay, yeah, I was going to say 10, and you got an 18. Okay, you jumped the gap. Yeah. All right. Landing right there next to Druger one and uh Snurvin. Lines up and uh since he was so distracted by the jumping little off balance, uh he missed the swing at uh at the dark dwarf but rebounds with a uh with a left hook. For five damage. Um, okay. So from out of the corner, all of a sudden you got this uh this giant um rat a rat comes running out, squeaking, squeak, squeak, squeaking. Squeaking, squeaking, squeak. Um, comes running at, at Savvy. The rat comes running at the cat. And is going to try to take a bite. Oh, it's a hit. For one damage. <laughs> he bit you for one damage. Now you have the plague. Uh, Dwarf 2, or Dwooger 2, let's see, um, um, uh, yeah, so you can see he go, uh, goes ahead and, uh, grabs, um, a war pick that was laying next to him, go ahead and, hold on, mm-hmm, is this an action, or? Yeah, he is going to, uh, all of a sudden you see him grow in size. Do -do 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 okay, yeah, he is big. I think it's, a, well, it says it's an action, so I don't think it's a bonus action. I think it takes a full action to do. So you see him grab his war pick, and he doubles in size, and as he do, does... His uh, war pick that he grabs doubles in size also. And then he is going to step to you. Does he 
added to his cod piece. Yes, yes, his uh, cod piece grows also. It's now the size of uh, David Bowie's from Labyrinth. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Servan, you see he is standing right there, and he will... He's going to re reach forward uh, towards Karthus as Karthus is uh, punching the other the other guy. You see him uh, reach forward. Does he actually have to touch you for this? Yes, he does. And uh, you see lightning spring from his hand as he reaches forward uh, towards Karthus. Uh, it is a hit. Shocking grasp for uh, four points of damage. To Karthus. That is a it's a cantrip, right? Yes. It's a crazy cantrip. Uh number one, you see him he's gonna uh grab his war pick and then he also doubles in size um war pick himself and his uh cod piece. Yes. <laughs> We're back up to Savvy. That is a miss from the offhand short sword after the hit from the main hand. Um, yeah, wait. Okay. Stay right there. Okay. Io. Okay. <laughs> Oh, unfortunately, that is a miss. I think uh, out of caution for trying to not hit Karthus, you uh, you, you you missed <laughs> Snurvin. Snur Snur also. Aria also. Yeah, same predicament. Karthus, you're recovering from being uh, shocked. It looks like you're punching number one. Oh, second hit is a miss. Okay, Brown Nah, the rat, will try to bite Savvy again. That is a miss. Number two, now that it is bigger with its war pick, is going to try to hit Savvy with the war pick. Did I not? Did I not freaking target? I didn't target. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, that's a miss when I actually rolled with targeting. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was a miss. It probably would have it would have been a hit beforehand, but yeah. Oh, let's see. Okay, all of a sudden, um, from next to next to Karthus, you see uh, the Dugger right there, Snurvin, all of a sudden disappear. Burger one is going now that it is it is enlarged it is going to try to hit Karthus with the war pick 
That is a hit. Uh, for 11 damage. Come around, Savvy. Number two is not looking too good. Better than that, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna continue to look uh, <laughs> as long as uh, as long as you keep missing him. Yeah. It's not my fault. I don't set their AC. They set their AC. Io. back oh critical hit <laughs> oh nice on to druger too yes so you you have been saved so to speak by the bell of the ball <laughs> because that's a lot of damage <laughs> anything else io No, he had to go AFK for a second. I walked over and I screwed it. No, no problem. All right, Arya. That is a hit. And I still get sneak attack because he's uh, yep. this right? Yeah, you would. Yeah, and you would have gotten advantage on the attack roll also, but yeah. Alright. No, but you. Oh, no, you get the sneak attack, yeah, because you got somebody within five feet. That's right, yeah. So, Karthus. That is a hit. Uh, he is dying. Dying Keaton. Okay, so Brown Gnaw, see all of a sudden, uh, is going to make a bite attack for Karthus. Uh, miss. And then... Hmm? Not Karthus, Savvy. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So it goes 5, uh, 10, and Savvy, you can make an uh, attack of opportunity against the little, uh, little rat if you'd like to. That is a hit. Yep, and uh, that is uh, instantaneous death. And he doesn't get to do too much. Okay, speaking of savvy, we're uh, back at your turn. I don't know, somebody linked Potion of Healing. I'm not sure who it did. Wait, you did what with the Potion of Healing? I don't know, somebody linked it in the chat. Somebody put Potion of Healing in the chat. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Okay, so you're just going to move over to that, uh, to that door, Savvy? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and pass it. Yep, still on initiative. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah. That guy just went invisible. Yeah. Didn't yeah, so it's Io's turn. Io, go ahead and make make me a perception check. Okay. Perception. Mm hmm. 
Okay, yeah, you don't notice it. You saw the guy go invisible beforehand, but you don't you don't notice um you don't notice anything or you can't see where he's gone. You're like looking or looking around. You don't notice anything. So what what would you like to do? Can I use my scroll of fairy fire? Um, yeah, you can you can cast it. I mean, it's it should be on your list, right? Because what what does the fairy fire do again? I'm trying to remember what what uh fairy fire is. Uh, each object in twenty four cube. Yeah, outlined in blue, green, or violet. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you gonna put it? Um. You get a twenty a twenty foot cube. Um. Here, like that area. So, what? Uh, wait, from where you were before to where you are now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you were, where were you? you were here before, or no, you were here. All right. So twenty foot cube, in including um, Arya there, or right, hold on, let me get let me get my pencil and I'll draw this. So because you you went over here, so like square, 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 square. So like that should show up your screen. That twenty foot cube, or you wanted it shifted a different way. Like center the cube around me. Oh, like, center. So, I'm in the so you're in the middle. Okay. Let me let me erase these lines I just uh, drew on here. At least for the most part, this uh, erasing tool was kind of like me. Eh. <laughs> uh, all right. So center it on you. See, fifteen, twenty. Okay, so like that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, and I think if I read it, uh, the spell correctly, it says about uh, fairy fire, anything in there uh, gets a uh, dexterity saving throw. Uh, yeah. Mm. Okay, and what is, what is your spell save DC for your, your stuff? Trying to remember. I 
I'm like looking through your character sheet trying to remember where your DCs are. It's been a while since I played this also. Oh, and Fantasy Ground, especially with all that stuff. Um, notes, no, inventory abilities. I'm not seeing it anywhere. I know it's supposed to be like 10 plus, uh, or 8 plus proficiency bonus plus your spell casting modifier. Which I remember correctly is your wisdom, if I remember correctly, so plus 2. So let's go. Okay, because the guy is right in that square. So hold on, let me make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, see, I know what he got. I'm, I just need to figure out what your spell save DC is for the for the fairy fire. DC L oh, is ten plus the the spell's level. Oh, that's for you to cast it, huh? Uh, DC is eight plus proficiency bonus. Mm -hmm. Plus wisdom modifier. Yeah, no, the spell scroll save, save throw uh, is 13, attack bonus plus 5. It's a, If it's a, an attack, let's see, yeah. Okay, so um, the area lights up with, uh, I don't know, what color did you want? Blue, green, violet? Green. Green, yeah. The area uh, lights up with green, but um, and everything in that area lights up with green. But you, uh, you don't see the these wooer lighting up, unfortunately. Ooh, thank. Well, last minute, so I'm good. Yeah. I'll say uh, thank you, Fluffy seventy four ninety seven for the hundred bits. Ooh. Okay. Arya, make me while you're over there. Make me a perception check. I don't know what the uh, the bits mean, but that's awesome that uh they sent us bits. I'll explain bits to you later. Yeah, yeah. It's like I know what the uh the other stuff is for like a, a Do you have a nineteen? Yes, you have a nineteen. So you notice that it in that um that lit up area that is um that pops up and stuff right there that um. Uh, out of it, next to the um, uh, the little straw pile that it looks like there, you see you feed fires and stuff. That uh, it looks like it to be moving a little bit, or something is is moving it. Okay, how tall is the room? Seriously, um, it does not give me dimensions, but I'm thinking it's it's probably it's probably a normal one floor, like ten feet tall. Yeah, one floor is about ten feet, right? Yeah. Flip rocks. Um, I'm just gonna fire at where I'm seeing the stuff move. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll roll me um roll me some percentile. Uh, first. Uh, the best here, right? Hmm? I'm gonna fire at, you know, an arrow where I'm seeing stuff move at a little area that you start. Yes, yes. Uh, roll me, uh, roll me some percentage die. Or roll me, roll me a d10 as the 10s, and then afterwards roll me a d10 as the 1s. Hey, it's Big E. Awesome. Yeah, thank you for the, for the bits. Uh, so you turn the corner and face this. I don't know what that is. A, a panda with a unicorn horn? Oh, no, it melted. Yeah. Oh, they actually have percentage out. Okay. Okay, roll me an attack. Uh, yeah, fortunately... Uh, your arrow just goes whoosh, right through the area. Definitely gonna move away from whatever that is. Yeah, you're probably probably pretty good. Oh, move over there. All right. 
Curtis. I guess I'll use a potion of healing and uh, then pass the turn, I guess. All right. Potion of healing is 2d4 plus 2, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes, it is. All right. Let's go ahead and roll, roll that for me. Okay, so 7 plus 2 is 9. Uh, I'll go ahead and adjust that on your sheet. Boom. There you go. You're only down by 10 points now. Did you want to move or anything? Yeah. Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, Aria, roll, roll me another perception check. This time at advantage. Breaks this guy's thing. Okay, so uh, as you move over there, all of a sudden you feel something um, brush against you, trying to move past you and the bridge to the south. Okay, you... so I feel something trying to move towards you... the Like squeezing between you and the uh, the bridge right there. I give you. I'll give you a. Okay, so yeah, so let people know it's heading that way. Yeah. It's like I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a reaction to take if you if you want to take a reaction like you want to uh, like lash out at it or try to hit it. I'll try, but best I got is my uh, sword right now. Your sword. I'll use that. Okay. So, right so yeah. So roll me percentile first, and then roll me an attack. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I just targeted you on him. Go ahead and, uh, yeah, roll some damage with your sword. You your... Uh, no, because you can't actually see thing for. <laughs> okay, and then he's got to make. Uh, that wasn't a con uh, critical damage, though. Oh, because I wasn't targeted before. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so roll me one more of the the die. What is it, a D8? And I'll add it to it. Okay. So that's... A, okay, so he's got that much on him, but then he has to, because he's invisible, he has to make a concentration check. Which, I think it's just, it's just a regular D20, if I remember... Or equal to the the damage that was done, so it'd be a total of eleven. He's got a. Oh, oh okay. Never mind. He made it. Right. But at least he's gonna go this far. All right. So who's next? Um, can I can I do a free action? Uh, sure. I'll give you a, I'll give you a free action real quick. You you I'm hit him. Like my sword inside of him, so it's floating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a floating sword stuck inside of this guy here. Yeah. That's a good something to target. Okay, yeah, you can see, I'll oh, say, yeah, because you see the floating sword, the guy's right here. <laughs> you see a floating sword right where that token is. So I can see some more. So now you can see, yeah, because you, you, can, you can see, what is it, it's just 30 feet away, you can see it. No, it's <laughs> going to shoot the sword. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he was down. You guys had it so close before, and then, yeah, that's why he went invisible. Yeah. So you see an arrow thunk into a visible uh, spot right by the sword, and then it uh, it falls over, and he comes back, and you see it's the form of that sniven guy, Snurvering. 
whatever his name is, Snape, Severus Snape, Snarf, Snarf. Put some XP on here for you guys. There you go. 215 for that encounter. You guys are getting closer and closer to leveling up. Uh, I gotta remember, I need to mute all other channels on Discord when we're doing this, because I've got beep, 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 going off in my ears, and I keep thinking it's like Jess. <laughs> going, I'm late for the game, but I'm here, and it's not. All right, all right, so everybody in game and at home, we're going to take a quick 10-minute uh, bathroom break. We usually end about 8 o'clock, so it's about halfway right now. So we're going to take a quick 10-minute break, and then we will be right back um, as these guys start exploring uh, the rest of this level um, for the Fu Forge of Fury. So please stick with us, and we will be back in, ten, in about 5-10 minutes. Yeah.
All right, we're back. Thank you for anybody that stuck around uh, while we were having our little break. Um, thank you, uh, Big E, for giving me the bits. Uh, I was informed about what they are because I've never had anybody do that during the stream um, before. So yeah, thank you for... Yeah, I've never had anybody... Um, I've had people bite me, but I've never had people give me bits. So, yeah. Not, wait, not Liz, I guess. Anyway, there it there were some kibbles and bits, maybe. Yeah. Ha. All right, back to the game at hand. All right. Um, okay. Taking, taking what? Take sword. I'm taking the sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take your sword back out of the person. Yes. Anybody that shot any arrows can recover half of whatever they uh, they shot. And then um, this is a pretty big room so if you guys are searching through it everybody should give me perception checks oh, boom nice last one coming in is the 16 so you guys you guys search through Search through this room. Yeah, card is 16, yes. You guys are searching through the room, and uh, buried deep in one of the uh, cold forges in the uh, northwest corner of the room, you find uh, what looks to be somebody's pretty substantial stash of, uh, of coinage um, that they'd hidden away up there. Let's go ahead and drop this into the party sheet so you guys can see it. Yeah, some pretty uh, pretty substantial uh, stash of some coins, and along with that, a uh, a potion and a necklace. Anyone want to check out that potion? I can't tell what it is, but someone else might. How does one check out the potion? Um, check it out. You just uh, you can like taste it. Um, like take a little sip, nothing significant, um, you know, and try to try to figure out what it is uh, from there. Usually, I tell you what it is because, yeah, I mean, or you can guess if anybody has identify, they can cast identify on it or something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty lenient about that stuff. You just take, you know, next time you guys take a break, you can just like dip your pinky in there, or take a small swig of it. Uh, to test it out and see what it is. Mm. Could it be yeah, <laughs> it could be alcohol. Actually, it kind of yeah. Like gold. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody want to uh, just hold on to it for now until you guys uh, take a break and identify it? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Is there anything on the uh, bodies of the people we just killed? Uh, uh, like the, the, the invisible body? was getting something from under the haystack, so I'm curious to see what he has. No, he there is nothing on um on his body that um we can see other than the cod, yeah. the cod piece, yeah the ex the extra large cod pieces on the other guys. It um it does not look like there's anything on them. Well they have their normal uh what do they have? Um that's the wrong guy there. Hold on. Like their armor and everything they were wearing, yeah. Um, let's see. It looks like uh, scale mail and shield, and then um, yeah, the the war picks they have. There's a couple. You guys find a couple javelins uh, laying around the room. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically all. Yeah, they, they all have. Yeah, they all have scale mail and shields. It says. Inside their bodies, you find intestines and organs and. Uh, all that kind of other stuff. Yeah. Did anybody want to take the uh, the gold necklace that's on the list? I'll take it. No one else. Okay. All right. You start. All right. So let's go ahead and split up all this cash and everything between you guys and people that are getting appropriate stuff. Get there. Get the stuff. 
All right. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's that's some good money. You guys got some chunks of change going on. Okay. So let's see. As uh, Io is getting closer to searching around that corner, we'll go ahead and. Open up this here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's an unfinished blade. It doesn't look like it's uh finished. There are uh, that uh that fiery forge where Carthus is standing down there. Yeah. Stuff. Let me check that door out. All right. I had a feeling you were going to say that. That's why I moved here to give you cover fire. Just yeah. <laughs> so in, inside uh, the little room there, it just looks like it's a bunch of stores of stuff you would need. Uh, various metals um, and different things, uh, pieces, whatever you use to uh, fuel the forges. Well, not metal to fuel the forges, but like uh, wood or whatever and stuff for various building uh, stuff. It's a storeroom. That's the thing. Th this one too. Just to save you guys a door opening ceremony. Lame. Lame. <laughs> Lame. Lame. I'm just start checking out this cavernous part down here. Yeah, we're gonna progress to the uh to the east. Are you with us, Carthus? He's taking a nap. Like, he might be just be taking a nap. It says ZZZ on his uh, token right there. He got tuckered out. Uh oh. Carthus is stuck to the forge. Is that a Geordie LaForge? No, really? Nobody? Whatever. Get no. stuck. No. I don't remember how I it. get it all day from Shane. <laughs> it's like, I don't need it from you too, DM. <laughs> you don't even want to hear the one I said. Right? Okay. So as you guys get closer, I guess I'm guessing maybe Karthus stepped away from the uh the keyboard for a minute. Um maybe he'll he'll be back hopefully. So as you guys start to get um get closer or going further to the east, you can see that the uh the water runs down. It looks like it uh cascades off of a cliff um further into the cave. Why did you not do it? Come on. A I'm a bird. I don't know. A cat that's afraid of heights? No, come on. It's uh, not doing my drawing tool. Oh, I might have to click the drawing tool first. Uh, wah, wah, wah. There comes Carthus. Okay, there come okay, here's the cave. Okay, here we go. So looking looking off a cliff, you can see that it goes uh, like a pretty far down Hold on. into a uh, a black a black pit a black expanse. But um, go ahead and yeah, uh, what's it got? We got uh, Arya and Io right there on the edge. Go ahead and make me a uh, a perception check. Okay, I'll give it to you because there's not much here. So, um, as you're as you're looking down, you can see that it looks like um, hold on, across the way you can faintly see the outline of of what looks to be a a ladder attached to an 
uh, a cliff edge to uh, the northern side of this uh, this hole here. Because you guys didn't go all the way in the room before. Uh, well then. Hmm? So, well then. Hmm. Yes, well then. Hmm. You guys want to just go around and go down the ladder? Think there'll actually be orcs on there? Wasn't this a thing about going to get orcs and weapons? Ooh, can we have the bird grab the ladder, bring it over? Sure, and then you, sure, and then you guys can swing down. I was gonna say it looks like it's pretty well fastened over there on that ledge. I, mean, I think he means the 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 bottom of it. No, the bottom, <laughs> the bottom of it, and you guys can just. Yeah. Climb across the ladder to the other ledge and then go down the ladder. That's actually possible. Yeah. Let's do that. Ah, boy. Okay. Let's see. Um, how far can you um, can you fly there, Bird Boy? I can fly fifty feet. Fifty feet. Okay. Hmm. All right, so it it takes you uh, about uh, let's see, let's see, you're fifty feet. That's per round, right, or per turn? Yes. Yeah, so it only takes one over there. So are you going over there? Or are you flying all the way down into the chasm to the bottom of the rope and then pulling it back up? Oh no, I would just go to the top and just pull it up. Oh, okay. Okay, so you fly. We'll go ahead and put you on the other side. Okay. And you pull up the rope, the rope bridge. It doesn't seem like it's secured at the bottom. Um, by the time you get it up there, it seems like it's about a, it's about a 120 feet worth of rope bridge. So it's pretty. it weighs a pretty good amount. Um, so you want to you want to fly it back over to everybody over here? Do I feel comfortable flying it since you mentioned the weight about it? Yeah, it seems that yeah, it's 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 a it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of rope to uh, be flying over there. Uh, you probably make it. You probably you probably have to make a uh, uh, what, which one is it? Acrobatics check to make sure you can you can get over there with it. Possibly a strength check to fly it. Give it a try. <laughs> okay. Roll me, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll me an athletics or an acrobatics check, uh, whichever you think would be appropriate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you fly over, you got the rope. You fly back over, uh, holding onto it and, and, and letting a little out as you go so that it, uh, it stays, stays pretty tight. Um,. To the pinions that are already in the in the ground. Did you did you un um, unpin it from the ground beforehand? No, I'm not unpinning it. Yeah, so we just yeah, so you just you've got this uh, this rope <laughs> ladder stretch. Out. No, I'm I'm laughing as I'm I'm drawing it on the map <laughs> that you've flown over from one side uh, to the other. There you go. That looks right on the map. That looks that looks as best as I can do with the drawing tools available to me. I'm not the artist Shane is, so yeah. That looks like um, if I tried to build a guitar for Jeremy. That's what the neck <laughs> guitar would look like if I do not build. All right. Okay, you're uh, you're uh, 
Eric Croco flies the bridge over to you. What are you guys doing? Oh, I'm fastening on this end. I think we should do that. All right. You guys got some pinions or anything to put in the ground to be able to fashion it to it? So am I just going to stand there and hold it while everybody goes across it? I have a couple daggers I've never used, but if anybody has anything else. Anybody? A javelin. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, actually, the javelins that you mentioned in the other room. Oh, yeah. There you those, go. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. You guys go get some javelins. You put it up there. You uh, hook it in there. Um, I'm going to make everybody make me an acrobatics check to cross this bridge. Um, I'm still... Yeah, I know you're just going to fly because after they do that, you're just going to unpin it to roll it back down and go fly over there and then everybody's going to go down the rope. But for right now... Okay, that's good. Acrobatic check. Acrobatic check. Anybody's going across this bridge rather than going all the way around. Uh, acrobatic checks, please. That's not good, Savvy. <laughs> yeah, Car okay, Carts is good. Okay, so... Um, either uh, Io or Carthus, go ahead and make me a dexterity check because you see Savvy start to slip off the rope bridge because she's a cat. Apparently something happened with the posable thumb. She couldn't grip the rope good enough. She starts to slip. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Everybody making some dexterity checks. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, you guys are able to grab her before she goes off the edge of, uh, or off the rope. And you guys get across to the other side. Yay, all right. I'm going to go. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can do this. Now we unpin it and go down it, like, and use it as it was intended. That, like God intended for the rope yes. to be used. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Hey, look at that. I, I was able to actually mass delete everything. I'm just going to put you guys all over here on the other ledge. Cat goes in the hole. No, cat go other. All right. And you guys can see from over here. All right. Why does it do it that way for this? That's weird. No, not. Hey. I'm having technical difficulties with my drawing tool now. Like I said, I am not the one that does the drawing. I'm trying to open it up so you guys can see it more from this side. Yeah. You guys are closer to the... There you go. Ha-ha! Are you guys going to climb down the ladder? If you... So we're going to go down the ladder. I'll like, slowly fly down. Okay. I'm going down. Okay. Anybody uh, using the ladder, go ahead and make me an athletics check, please. Athletics or athletics? Athletics. Okay, so yeah, using the rope, you guys are able to uh, climb down to the to the bottom, and I have to actually give me one second because I didn't know if you guys were going to get to the next part or not. So. Good thing nobody's looking at anything. All right, here we go.
Let's see, where exactly does it put you guys on the thing? Oh, right here. All right, so you guys are ready? Hold on a second, because I'm not ready. Shush. Shush. Everybody at home's like, ooh, look at this map that he's, uh, he's got open that they can't see yet. No, you can't. <laughs> Quit watching on the channel. Watching, no. watching Twitch on your phone, because you're a cheater. <laughs> said map down do you see there you go yay everybody can see new map has everybody got it on their screen mm. yep Yeah, slowly. Was it? Yeah, let me. Whoa, whoa. I was gonna say, let me let me know when it loads. I gotta give you guys. This is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Now you guys can see more of this room than just that. Hold on. Yeah. So I was gonna say, you guys can see. I'm not. This looks like it probably should be each square is ten feet, but. Uh, I think I think it's five feet, because it doesn't actually give me a map ratio. Um, on my side, like on the map, but the square when it does the grid oh, like this. Our characters are not ten feet in there. <laughs> well, no, I just put your. It just snaps your your tokens to the top. But I mean, with the way this map is looking, it might be each square. Okay, I'm an idiot. Hold on. Yeah, you guys can call me an idiot. So you're an idiot. Because I guess it, it's. For this whole area because you guys were going down hey look there's a ladder uh, but that's where the that's where the pin where you guys are at right now is where the pin for this map is which is weird that they would put the ladder all the way over there and put the pin over there for the description anyway a thundering spray of water fills this chamber uh, pooling and flowing out to join a large river to the north the air is damp and the roar of the waterfall is deafening a broad ledge heads north towards the river and then turns out, out of sight to the east. The muddy bank of the pool looks disturbed by tracks of some kind. Yeah, because you guys should be coming off the thing there and you guys should be able to see. Oh, my phone's going off for some reason. Yeah, there. Because it goes off to the east, but then also, if you guys are here, you guys can see. Because you guys have, almost everybody has dark vision, right? All right, so you guys see that you got the pool, the muddy bank. Uh, looks like it's disturbed by some kind of tracks. Can I investigate the tracks? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, you want to check out the tracks? Go ahead and make me a survival check. That's a nice number. So you uh, checking out the tracks, you can tell that they look like they belong to a large reptilian creature that has at least four feet and a long tail, as you can tell, because the tail um, starts obscuring some of the tracks as it slides back and forth as whatever creature it was was walking along the edge. It looks like they are leading away from the hard stone of the ledge to the north um, and into the water.
I'm gonna let the party know to be on the lookout for some crocodilian looking weirdness. I thought the tracks led into the water. They do, yeah. The tracks uh, lead into the water. You see that they go along the ledge, but then it looks like they lead into the water. Everybody's going. Um, hold on. Do, 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 do. Oh, what I was supposed to do. Um, oh, hold on. Okay. So a, uh, a fast-moving underground river roars from east to west under uh, these stone bridges here. The bottom of the chain ladder is near the south bank of the river. On the north side of the bridge, a ledge continues to the east. Yeah, because that ladder was the ladder you took out. Apparently it was a chain ladder. So it would have been really, really heavy for you to carry, Arya. Anyway. But, but you're a strong uh, bird, so it's fine. After a short distance, the ledge uh, leading east bends to the south, and a second bridge uh, surmounts the river. I'm, I'm opening it up. Hold on. Boom. There you go. So Kitty Cat's going to go over to the bridge. Yeah. Okay. Arya, Aya, what are you guys doing? What was that? I said, what are you guys, what are you guys doing? Okay, well, you guys are just over there, by the way. I didn't know if you guys were, were coming along or not. I have my bow out ready to shoot anything that moves. <laughs> and anything that moves? So, so if, like, the water... That's my party. So if, like, the water starts moving, you're going to shoot the water. Josh. Yeah, what? What happened? What Just start shooting the waves. Hold on, I'm trying to try to see what's going on because I think we might we might stop here for the night just to make sure uh, that we get everybody else possibly in in two weeks so that they are uh, here for this uh, upcoming uh, event that's going to happen. Yeah, I think this might this might actually be a good time to stop right here. You guys made it down to this level. You guys are about to cross over uh, this uh, rickety looking bridge, and then uh, stuff gets real real quick. I'll let you guys know that. Yes. So we're gonna we're gonna hmm? say it again. Oh, so we should go back and long rest then. You go. You guys just had a long rest like five minutes ago in game time. <laughs> it's like five minutes. I'll be nice and let you guys have a long rest. You guys can go back over by the chain bridge. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm joking. If you guys want to take yeah short rest, you guys take a short rest. But uh, anyway, well yeah, this is a good this is a good place for us to uh, to stop for the night. 
Um, yeah. So thank you uh, to everybody that's watching um, and that tuned in. Um, we will be back uh, in a little bit with more Forge of Fury. I think with the way scheduling turns out, it'll be Thursday the 4th. I'm not sure. I forget when, when what my calendar is. Yeah. Can you count over there, Liz? Not next Thursday. Thursday afterwards. The 5th? The 5th. The 5th. Oh, 5th. Okay. Which works out good. We can do that because November 6th is um, Extra Life Day, as far as I know. We're still raising donations for Extra Life Day. It goes towards children's hospitals. Um, if you would like to donate, um, you can go to the Logan Shops Reviews page on Facebook, and the pinned post on the very top is where we're taking donations for Extra Life. I will be playing games all day that Friday, live streaming games uh, on November 6th, all day for hopefully as many hours as I can. It's supposed to be 24 hours, but I don't know if I can do that all by myself. Uh, Gothy Lux might be joining me. Liz? Possibly. and uh, But most likely it's just going to be myself. So uh, anybody that would like to uh, to join in or tune in, um, let me know, and then uh, we'll get you... Um, possibly, maybe if you're in the area, you can help me. Or at least sit there and chat with me while I'm playing games. Maybe suggest games. I'll put up a list of games that I'm going to play either solo or with one other person. Yeah, then that'll be... Friday the 6th, but Friday the, or Thursday the 5th, we'll be back with our D&D &D game. Woohoo! Yep, so thank you for all for tuning in. Um, if you get a chance and you'd like to help support the channel, you can go over to Patreon. Uh, we are Logan Chops Reviews, as is all of our social media. And if you'd like to, uh, uh, to pledge on that, we'd uh, greatly appreciate it. Help, every little bit of money helps the channel out. Um... Yeah, what else do we have coming up? Oh, live stream this Sunday. We're live streaming Space Dinos uh, by Peudal Games this uh, this Sunday. Me and Gothy, we're going to be playing that. It's a tiling outer space dinosaur game that we did a quickie preview of and launched the other day. And, um... Oh, and we also have a live stream on the 30th coming up of a DD and d game, a one-shot with our Patreon subscriber re rewards. Uh, Katie, who uh, pledged on our game night level, will be playing D&D &D with me and a couple of the X crew. Woo we're going to live stream it. That's next Friday the 30th. Day, or 29th or 30th? 30th. 30th, 30th. Yes, day before Halloween. Yep. Yeah. Day, day before Halloween. I just said that. Anyway, all right, so thank you all for tuning in. Uh, we will see you next time, and as always, happy gaming.